Hi. One of the main issues in central Germany is that you don't have so much kind of different birds. So the only thing to get good pictures is to try to photograph these traditional birds doing different things. But some locals told me that about one and a half hour away from my home, there is a little lagoon where you can see kingfisher. And of course, that's a wonderful bird I have never seen before her. So now I'm driving to that place and see if we can find some kingfisher. I hope we have success. Let's go. It's supposed to be about 10 miles and I guess the kingfisher wore it. So let's see if we can finally find them and that the road will be full of maybe other wildlife. If there is something I always check in days like this, is the weather forecast. Today in the morning, the girl on TV said that it will be a sunny to cloudy day, but no chances of rain. And well, if I look to this side, the forecast is maybe true. But if I look to the other side, The forecast seems to be wrong. Germany is full of these old abandoned castles from last century. It's incredible. Some are just stones, uh, remains, some strange towers, but in other cases, there are some very good conditions. One good thing to now, now we are almost half on the way, is to know that we are 2,051 kilometers away from Moscow from Stork of 456. Well, we could walk to Rome, to Wien, Jerusalem. Well, whoa, 3,000 kilometers. No. Well, that's a nice country, Mexico. We are half away. The clothes are getting darker and closer. Every time I see one of these lagoons, I think I could see one, but no, nothing. Well, let's keep going. Smartwatch says I have walked already nine kilometers. That's about six miles. It has not rained yet, but it seems it will soon begin to rain. There is a fountain here. I don't know if it works, but let's see. Nice fountain. Let's see if it has water. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> what I'm taking with me. Of course, for this time, I have with me my lovely D5600. The crop sensor will help me to have a major focal length with the Sigma if the Kingfisher is a little bit away. And of course, the Sigma, the GoPro, the GoPro who is filming, tripod, and I have already the Nikon Z7 with me because I guess I could, I can take some nice landscape pictures or maybe a woodland picture that would be very interesting. I love these kind of pictures too. By the way, something important, which will, be my, which will be my setup to take the photos of the Kingfisher. I guess I will use a shutter speed of 1600. And if he is flying around, a shutter speed of 3200 to 4000. I don't think that the Nikon can manage the autofocus with the flying Kingfisher. I will shoot as open as my lens permits. And that, of course, with the Sigma is f6.3. When I just was wondering, what is this in the middle of the forest here? I saw two woodpeckers. They were together are still on the tree. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Well, the woodpeckers flown away, but I guess I have some good pictures. So let's take a rest here. What is here? This. I think I'm inside the castle. Look at this, I was on trees there. I find it amazing. I guess there will be a good picture too, watch. Asked me in the comments if I'm German. And yes, I born in Germany when I was a kid in the 70s, my father decided to went to South America and take all the family with him. And I raised up in South America, in Chile, and I came back to Germany in late 2020. And that's why my native language, or the language I speak at best, is Spanish. And if I would do this video in German, maybe it would go, it would go so good because German is a, it's not an easy language. I'm very happy here in Germany. I left a lot of friends uh, and I miss them, of course, a lot. But I had new opportunities here in Germany and therefore I came back to Germany after almost 48 years.
and that's why I am Germany, but speaking English, but my native language is Spanish. <laughs> my father worked for a photography company called ACFA. I don't know if you remember or have known any ACFA cameras, but in this time they made some good cameras and I still have some ACFA cameras. So, let's go. I finally arrived, but there seems to be a lot of flying things here, but I haven't seen any kingfisher. Watch. There seems to be someone, but they just pass, fly under the bridge, and it seems that, that in the underside of the lagoon will be a better place. Let's find it out. So, well, we are finally here, and it's true. There are some kingfisher just in front of me. I think it's impossible to see with the GoPro, but the walk worth it. But, well, let's install the tripod and the camera. And so, I think that is all for today. Finally, I could find the Kingfisher. If you find this video interesting, maybe you consider to subscribe and give it a like, so others can see this video too. Now, see you next week. Bye-bye.